Hi, this is Alexander, Minnesota Chiropractor, Dr. David Butler. In this video blog, I'd like to discuss new evidence that steroid injections fail to fix or help spinal stenosis. Every year, millions of patients are injected with epidural steroids to treat back pain. But now, new research suggests that many of these injections are completely unnecessary. In a study released in early July 2014 by the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers found that epidural steroid injections failed to produce any measurable benefits compared to lidocaine injections for spinal stenosis. And although this isn't the first study to question the effectiveness of epidural steroid injections for back pain, this unique study is the largest randomized trial conducted yet on the effects of injections for spinal stenosis. Stenosis is a condition where the flow of the cerebral spinal fluid is blocked by a bulging or herniated disc, a vertebral subluxation or misaligned vertebra, or simply by inflammation and swelling of the soft tissues surrounding the vertebra, the nerve, or the joints of the vertebra. Think of it like someone stepping on a garden hose and blocking the flow of water. There's going to be an increase of pressure, and that increase of pressure exerted on the spinal cord or nerves can cause excruciating pain for some people, and is often associated with sciatica, as well as pain in the back and legs, and for some people, the leg muscles become so weak that they can't walk or stand up straight. Well, this study included 400 patients with spinal stenosis who received injections of either steroids or an anesthetic like lidocaine. And after six weeks, both groups showed similar rates of improvements, leading researchers to conclude that steroid injections offer minimal or no short-term benefits. And here's the alarming part about this finding. As I reported in an earlier video blog, which you can find, on our, on our Facebook page, the FDA has not approved these injections for the treatment of back pain, yet doctors routinely perform the procedure in everyday practice. Why? Well, because some patients report improvements. That's like the placebo effect. And many insurance companies require patients to get the injections prior to receiving surgery. Here's a prime example of what happens when the insurance companies are allowed to make medical decisions rather than the doctors. The patients suffer. Listen to this quote from one orthopedic surgeon at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. A Dr. Gunnar Anderson told the New York Times, quote, it's sort of become the thing you do. You see this abnormality on the MRI and the patient complains and immediately you send the patient for an epidural injection. Dr. Gunnar Anderson said the latest study will likely cause more physicians and patients to ask, should I really do this? I doubt it, but that's what they hope. And more and more, it's becoming quite obvious that in answering that question, patients should consider the risks. Although the injections are generally considered safe, the FDA warned in April of 2014 that in rare cases the treatment may cause blindness, stroke, paralysis, and even death. And people should be reminded that in 2012, contaminated steroid injections were linked to an outbreak of fungal meningitis with 751 cases across the country, including 64 deaths. And many of those infected had received the injections for spinal stenosis and back pain. And I'm often appalled by listening to other local chiropractors and others in the state that they're happy that they now have the right through CDI or some other company to refer a patient for an injection, especially when we've had such great success with spinal decompression for conditions like this. And we have a much higher success rate, and there are no reported side effects, and certainly there are no deaths or paralysis. I mean, if, you, if there, that was going on, you'd hear about it. Meanwhile, the steroid injection treatment can also carry additional risks for elderly. In a study of patients over 50 years old, they found that 
Every new injection of epidural steroids resulted in a 21% increase in the, pain, in the patient's risk of vertebral fractures due to the bone loss. And for seniors who don't want to take those chances, however rare, chiropractic care can alleviate symptoms of spinal stenosis in many patients. And research suggests, in fact, when it comes to disc herniation, one trial found that manual chiropractic adjustments were just as effective as epidural steroid injections in easing back pain, but without the costs or risks. So if your doctor or chiropractor is suggesting you get an injection, first ask them if they've kept up with all the most recent research. If not, point them to this video. And if they have, ask them for a referral to a chiropractor who has developed the expertise in non-surgical decompression. There are minimal risks and no long-term side effects. Remember, in most cases, lower back pain is not a life-threatening condition. Even though your pain may be unbearable, it's not life-threatening. If you'd like to learn more about helping you and your family regain and improve your health and wellness without the risks and side effects of drugs, surgeries, and injections, just contact Century Chiropractic at 320-762-0667. Thanks for watching, and thanks again for all the positive comments and encouragement on these blogs. Until next time, this is Dr. David Butler wishing you good health.